Right, hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, we are not out on the golf course. We've got one here, but we're down at the home studio because it's locked down. I want to give a big shout out as well to the guys at Golf Base for hooking me up with the screen and stuff and getting it all sorted just before lockdown came in so I was still able to make videos. Check them out in the description if you're looking at making your own video. And also guys, comment down below, do you want a little tour of uh, how I've done this and how I've actually set all this up and what I've used and how I've gone about it. Comment down below if you want that one for me. Today we're looking at three training aids every golfer should be using and what I'm going to be doing is showing you the three most common training aids I use in my lessons and I'm going to give you a drill for every one of them because what I tend to see is a lot of people have these training aids either in the bag they've never come out or they've bought one and not really know what it's for but if we use them correctly they can really help us improve our games. They can get the swings in the right place. They can help us aim better, create more speed. Loads and loads of things that these training aids can do. So let's get stuck into the video and find out what the first thing is on that list. Okay, so number three on the list is one of these, a TheraBand. You can pick them up from pretty much any sports store or Amazon or wherever it may be. And if you can get the long one, they're really, really helpful. The short ones as well that are sort of 30 centimeters long are really good for another thing as well. But this one, generally I would use in quite a lot of lessons and what I'd use it for is chipping and pitching. It can be used for backswing as well, trying to create a little bit more width and get the body to turn and get the hands a little bit higher. But the most common thing I use it for is chipping and pitching because generally the problems I would see when people, when they are chipping and pitching, once we take our setup, and a lot of my lessons I talk about the triangle created between the lead shoulder and the trail shoulder and the hands, we see it here now, once we've taken our grip, there's a lot of breaking down in this as we go through the swing. So we see maybe that the right elbow, the trail elbow tries to lift the club up in the air and it breaks it down. It might be that the lead elbow comes away and we get this chicken wing style follow through that we're going through but generally that structure isn't staying in place of that triangle so a great drill once you've looped it over your neck like so if you just place it in both your hands and just get your thumbs in like this what you're able to do that is take the grip and when you come down to take the grip you physically have to pull the um the TheraBand down to your grip so then once you're actually taking your stance here as soon as we grip it we can feel the tension now it's not going to hurt in any way but what we see is that we actually get a little bit of tension here so when I start to chip I would have to really focus on trying to keep that tension if I feel it goes slack I know that the TheraBand has now moved in so what I would start to do is actually chip some balls off where I focused on trying to keep the tension as I'm going through and from there then that would allow me to get rid of this movement of the arms collapsing so the TheraBand a really really good training aid like I say it's multi-purpose you can use it that if you took it and placed it over your um, your lead foot and you stood on it and then got your lead thumb you can make those swings like I say where you're stretching it to get some real width in your back swing for people who pick it up I use that quite a lot in that section so the TheraBand is number three on the list let's head over on to number two and see another training aid that is very useful for your game okay number two on the list and we've probably all seen one of these whether it's online or on people's clubs down at the range and it's quite funny I've had a few lessons come to me and say oh I've got one of those yellow things but never used it I don't know what it's for I just bought it because it was popular on Amazon and it is sometimes that is the case now this is a swing guide it's designed to help us understand how the wrists work in the golf club how we actually set them in the backswing because one of the things that I see from a lot of people like I referred to with the TheraBand is we get something where we pick the club up so we don't actually see the wrist hinging in the manner that we would like in the golf swing now we need the wrists to hinge because they're a great source of power they're going to be a great source of speed we need them to create the angles that we need in the golf swing to actually get the correct strike on the golf ball and this is a fantastic training aid to do that what we would see is that as I go back I'm looking to get my lead wrist hinging so when I get to this point where my hands 
and now in the middle of my chest and my lead arm is parallel to the ground for the first time if I turn this way what we would see is now that the club is set and the swing guide is resting on my lead forearm there if I were to just pick it up we see that it's not set simply hinging my wrists I get that club on there and like I say great source of power for us so a fantastic drill I like to do with a lot of my students when we're, when we're talking about this A just having practice swings and training the feeling of setting it on but I'd have a set stop and swing drill where as I'd go through it now I'd take my normal setup get my good grip I would swing back and set it, I would check that it's on and then from there I swing through and I hit and as I go through it I make sure that I've got that right wrist um, set going through and even there as we can see 120 yards from a stop and swing drill so a lot of power in there from a very small and stopping swing because I've used my hip wrists in the right manner so the swing guide for me is a fantastic training aid and one that I really really use a lot in my lessons so check it out that's the swing guide if you're struggling with getting any set in your wrists okay so the third and final one the alignment stick or the fashion accessory of the golf bag as it seems to be a lot of times I bet people watching this now have got these at home they either stay sat in their bag or they bought them they're in the tube and they've never come out of the tube because I see that from a lot of people down at the range and they're such a fantastic tool there's so much we can do with these in terms of learning to aim correctly learning to understand how the plane of the golf swing works learning about different even the hinge that i mentioned a moment ago we can use these for that chipping uses there's just you know nearly an unlimited amount of stuff that we can do as we're going through it putting there's just like i say just just so much that we can do now one of the great things I like doing with my alignment sticks firstly is the the parallel points in terms of looking at how you should address a golf ball so a lot of people would see that if they had their club down if I just grab one here if we had our club down and we had that aiming towards my target we might see that my body line is off here so they're fantastic for seeing that our ball to target line where the ball would be running up to the target and then our body to target line is inside that but parallel to that target as I address it because a lot of people get confused that I actually should aim my body to where I want the ball to go as well instead of having it sat inside like that train track also probably my most common thing that I would do with them now they do have a little spiked edge so if you're on grass great to put in if at the range you can use a range basket or I actually use one of these the swing plate which is just a great way of just popping in the cane here I can then angle this cane to the same angle as my shaft by moving it up and down and what I can do from there once I've got it back I would have that a club that I'm using away from my trail foot so I put that down I can then put this in line here with where the ball to target line would be and now from here what I've got is a great idea of where I should be swinging my plane as I go through so I can work up and down the plane here I cannot see that I'm going too much on the inside too much above it and it's a great way if we're looking at shallowing it out I would feel that I just go slightly up above and slightly underneath and then from there I'm able to use these in the correct manner don't let them be a fashion accessory they're such a handy tool and for 9.99 generally I think they are in most shops they can make such a difference to your game I would literally everyone who subscribes to the channel and who watches these lessons for tips and getting better at golf get a set of these they are class they can do so so much for you so those are my three most used training aids in my golf lessons guys i hope you've enjoyed that and i hope it's given you a little bit of an idea as to what you can do with each one what i will do i'm releasing a five uses for your alignment sticks video very soon so stay tuned to that 
As always guys, do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future lessons. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining me down in the den, and I'll see you very soon.